everybody loves cash. It tells no tales and leaves no trails. And it comes in all sorts of different denominations, which can be fun. Hello. Hi. I'm here to pay a traffic ticket. Okay. And you take exact change? Yes, sir. Let me run out to the truck. I'll be right back. Okay. You're in luck. I found exact change. Y'all can mail the meme receipt too. Most of the time in our relationship with him, God pays us in cash. He tells us to do something or not to do something, and he explains the reasons why. We know why we're not supposed to murder or steal or commit adultery. But occasionally it's as if God asks us, can I pay this time with a credit card? Is my credit good with you? He'll teach us a law for which there's no readily apparent explanation. That type of law is called a hoke. The classic example of that occurs at the beginning of this week's Torah portion with the law of the para aduma, the red heifer, the perfectly red cow that could never have been used for work, that's slaughtered, and that it's used to purify people who became impure through contact with dead bodies. We don't understand, according to most commentators, the reasoning behind the red heifer. Some people say, I'm not interested in that type of relationship with God. I'm willing to do anything that he asks me to do or not to do, as long as he explains to me the reasons why. One famous rabbi once said that that type of attitude is an example, an unfortunate example, of man hauling or dragging God down into the courtroom of man, where God doesn't belong. Instead of God taking man and dragging us into the courtroom of God where we do belong. God doesn't owe us any explanations. He's got more status and prestige than even the most important or powerful human beings. I bet if you talk to the guy, they'll let us out. Just, just say, you know, I'm the president and I'm gonna have a quick coffee. Hey, Daryl. Uh, Can you open this oh, up sir, one? I'm sorry, I can't lie. It. That's it's unbelievable. Got late. I knew that wouldn't work. You didn't sell it. But if you think about it, every single one of the mitzvahs of the commandments includes an element of chok. If the only reason you're not murdering or stealing or committing adultery is because it makes sense to you, then you're missing out on that added dimension of your relationship with God. If the reason why you're keeping Shabbos is exclusively or mostly because you enjoy it, you like a day of rest. You like being able to turn off your phones. You're not bothered by calls and emails. You like eating challah or gefilte fish or chicken soup. Then you're missing out. At the end of the day, the reason that we do every single mitzvah, doing the ones that require action and not doing the ones that require inaction, is simple. God told us to do it or not to do it. And that's the attitude that we have to cultivate. He said it. I'll do it. No questions asked. God's credit is good with me.